Panorama is the newest and tallest residential tower south of Manhattan, and it caters to a very specific resident who is in search of luxury apartment living in Brickell. Hi, I'm Marilyn Onking. I'm an interior designer at Robin Stuckey. And I'm Deborah Dawson, and I'm also an interior designer at Robin Stuckey. We are a full-service design company. And we do residential, commercial, and hospitality projects throughout the world. 90% of the units have breathtaking water views, and the building offers a complete lifestyle in the heart of downtown Miami. South Florida is color, texture, lifestyle. It's a vibrant collage of different cultures blended in different ways. This collage is where I work. I'm home decor expert Martin Amato. Let me help you design your lifestyle. Join me as we experience SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Panorama Tower is considered by many to be the best address in the best neighborhood in the best city. And with views like this behind me, I can see why. It's a unique concept that caters to residents in the luxury rental market, where every detail, including the interior design, can be completely customized. Interior designers Marilena Olguin and Deborah Dawson merchandise these units to make you feel right at home in your new Brickle lifestyle. We start our tour in this 1,635 square foot unit with two bedrooms and two baths. This layout features a multifunctional living area and a split floor plan. It has an elegant modern style that matches these great downtown views. Deborah and Marielena, welcome you both to Sofla Home Project. Hi. Nice to meet you. Absolutely, same here. So how much fun was it designing these spaces, huh? Awesome. It was a great experience, it really was. Now both of you are interior designers, so let's go ahead and sit and chat because this is, first of all, an award-winning space that you both created, right? Yes. American Society of Interior Designers chose this space as the first place winner of model merchandising. So congratulations to you Thank both. Thank you. And actually let's talk about that because we hear the word merchandising. So these are models that you guys are showing the potential resident that will live in this building. So a lot of times we consider it staging, but this is really different from staging. Can you explain that? The biggest difference is that staging is usually known as you're lending or renting the furniture mm -hmm. and uh, we do model merchandising. So we are providing a de the developers a space where they purchase the furniture. So it's really almost like a turnkey service. Totally turnkey. We've had residents that come in and say, I want the entire Model A. I want it exactly the same. And of course, other residents have their own furniture and they come in and say, I just want the sofa and mm -hmm. the rug. And, you oh, know. they pick and choose. And, yeah. Oh, that's great. So you don't have to buy the entire package. You can choose individual pieces as well. Right. How much of a challenge, or maybe not, is it really designing a more generic space that appeals to a broad spectrum of, of residents? Well, we did two units. One, this was a little upper scale, okay. a little bit like 30 and over. And then we did another unit, which was for the younger, hipper um, renters. I love it. So yeah. there's almost a psychology behind yes, the design that you, that you created. So the, the model that we're touring right now is the two bedroom unit, correct? Um, let's begin with the living room. Well, we, uh, we started with color um, and uh, our inspiration in this unit was the Benjamin Moore Color of the Year, mm -hmm. which is Caliente and then we added that red in a little areas throughout the, the, the entire apartment. Mm -hmm. So from the entrance, we transition into this beautiful open concept living space. So let's begin with this gorgeous sofa because I love the shape of it. It's very groovy, very lounge. Yeah, it's very hip. Yeah. And, um, also, we wanted to do textures. So we have the shag rug, mm -hmm. then we have the iron coffee table. One and of my favorite pieces is the, the texture on the console, the TV console, the, the chagrin. chagrin. Yeah. So, What's it called? Uh, chagrin. chagrin. It's like chagrin. a shark skin, it's called shark skin. Okay, oh my gosh, okay. So wow. that, that piece is very unique because it has um, metals and it has glass, black glass top and the chagrin uh, finish. So we did that throughout the entire unit, a lot of different textures. A lot of times when you have an open concept like this, I think it's a challenge just defining the different areas within that one larger room, correct? Right. Well, this is fun for us. This is what we do every day and we right. love it. And a lot of people don't know how to, they say, oh, this is too small. I can't fit X, Y, Z in it. Right. And we really show how we, you can really fit a lot in the space depending on scale you know right. this is just a preview of what we're going to see today we're touring first the two bedroom unit later on we're going to see the one bedroom unit as well so you made uh you created magic within that limited square footage as well so coming up next we're going to tour the bedroom spaces great all right i can't wait coming up on soflo home project we see more of this award-winning model unit in the sky 
So today we're going to take a look at the steps that we take to train our crews to ensure that you get a really great window installation. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. We are touring the beautiful design work of interior designers Maria Elena Ogin and Deborah Dawson inside the Panorama Tower on Brickell. Now this project is unique for us because it sort of focuses on what you guys call model merchandising, which I love. So let's go ahead and explain once again what it is. Well, the difference between staging and model merchandising is staging is when people usually think of staging as renting or lending the furniture, right. model merchandising we do for uh, clients that are selling a property and they're purchasing the furniture and we are merchandising every single detail in the space. The living area is set between the bedrooms creating a split floor plan. We are now transitioning into the more private quarters, if you will, the beautiful master bedroom. And even here you have some beautiful custom features. So let's begin with, with the bed, really. Gorgeous. Well, this is a king size, which is really nice for a rental unit that it can fit a king size with a nice size bedside table. Now, it, let's talk about the color palette here. It's very soothing, very relaxing. I mean, Deborah and I would make a perfect um, accessory here in the oh, room. That's true. Right? With our <laughs> color scheme, right? right? That's right. I'm a little pop of <laughs> Well, you're the pop from the bar <laughs> area at the, the beginning, pop. right? Yeah. So we all complement uh, the design. Was it a conscious decision not to do an accent wall possibly behind the bed? You wanted yes. to keep everything very serene? Yes, well, very serene and we wanted to make it look bigger uh, mm -hmm. because everyone complains about it looks too small. When there's no furniture in these spaces, they, they tend to think it's too small. Yeah. yeah, we want the space to be soothing when you come into the bedroom so the, the light grays and whites are really pretty. And once again, when you're dealing with model merchandising, you're not decorating for a specific client. It's more of a broader, almost like um, imaginative potential exactly. resident. So even the entire design and color scheme is very neutral, so it appeals to both men and women. We probably saw 30 different uh, bed ensembles, mm -hmm. um, and the bedding had to be neutral. Not male, not female, not young, not old. Yes, yeah, so no flowers, no, no flowers, big bold no, prints. Exactly. Now you have just enough furniture here because I love the fact that, I mean, that's a beautiful dresser, but that can be a sideboard, that can be a TV media console. So it's a multifunctional piece within the actual room, right? Yes. Yeah. Now let's talk about the nightstands because I do find them very unique. They can really be used as, as uh, side tables in the living room. Right. Yes. They're beautiful. Yes. But this is more you know fun with the mirror on the bottom and the glass clear glass on the top, and you can always put boxes or something if you want to hide something. You really don't need that much storage within this area because if you look behind us, I mean you have a complete walk-in closet that you would almost find in any really uh, standalone home, right? Right. It's an upscale closet with mm -hmm. uh, drawers and lots of hanging and we can customize the closet for their needs too. And once again, the views take center stage in this specific unit because even the guest bedroom takes advantage of the great views. Yeah, it has a great view and also a yeah. great, uh, great big point in the guest bedrooms. We get a lot of people saying, oh my God, that guest room, I can't fit anything in there. I need a twin bed. That is actually a queen size bed. Wow. Yeah. And then even the, the dresser underneath the TV is again, the perfect scale, the perfect right. size. Just enough for like guests to put, you know, their some items from their luggage. Right. And that's really what you have to think about. It's almost like you have to meet the needs of, of the resident even before they think they have that need, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. And we have custom closets in there too. So the dresser was the scale is perfect for the room, but it gave them a little bit more storage um, besides the closet. So let's discuss the the beautiful accent chair. It's like a sculptural modern piece on yeah. its own. Yeah. It looks like an art installation. Right? It is it looks like an art installation. It's that metal frame with that white fur mm -hmm. uh, in a corner. It just feels like you can throw yourself in there and read a great book or, Super or, look, at, or look at the view. Yeah. So we've been touring the, the two bedroom units here at the Panorama Tower. However, you've done some other units, including a beautiful one bedroom. Yeah. We're going to see that as soon as we come back from commercial break. But before we do that, let's check in with Tak Renata from Florida Home Improvement Associates. Of course, you know by now he is our expert when it comes to hurricane impact windows and doors. And of course, this building is full of them. <laughs> So one of the things we found being in business down here in South Florida is for as long as we have is that as many homeowners know it's really hard to find really really good quality installation crews. 
So over the years, we've tried our best to develop our own crews so that they do it to our high standards for installation. One of the ways we start is we find guys who really care about doing a good job and take a lot of pride in themselves and the work that they're going to do. And then we train them to our specifications as well as the manufacturer's specifications to ensure the homeowners are going to get a great installation to go along with the great products that they chose to have installed. So of all the things that we do while we're doing the installation, one of the things that we hear most about is the attention to detail, especially as it relates to keeping the home as clean as possible during this process. A simple thing or a little thing like installing properly the vinyl zip wall that we use, that we work behind, uh, we want to practice here in the classroom so that when we get to the home, it doesn't look like it's the first time we've ever put up the zip wall. So part of the classroom training is also doing hands-on installation of hurricane windows. And one of the things that we start with is have an existing window inside this block block wall to simulate what we see a lot of times in the homes in South Florida. So a big part of the process is understanding what we have existing and recognizing what's the best and proper way to remove the existing window and then examine the opening and determine what's the best way now to put in the new window that the homeowner has decided to have installed. Because of our extensive training and the pride we put in our installations, a lot of the manufacturers that we deal with will give us unique warranties to just our company because of the installation teams that we employ and the quality of work they do. They go above and beyond the Florida Building Code state minimum to ensure that the homeowners get the very best installation to also protect their home and their family. So not only are we going to be putting the finishing touches on this window, we're going to be putting the finishing touches on this class as well. They're just about completed and they're ready to do an installation in your home. Coming up next, we downsize a bit on the square footage and explore more design ideas in another amazing unit. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. So luxury living comes in many different forms, including the rental market. As we are proving today inside the Panorama Tower, featuring the beautiful work of interior designers, Maria Elena Olguin and of course, Deborah Dawson. So before the commercial break, we toured the beautiful two bedroom unit. Now we're actually in the one bedroom unit. However, we have lots of bonus spaces. And again, it shows that even with the small space, you can still have lots of style, correct? Yes. This 1,142 square foot unit has one bedroom and one and a half baths. It was designed with a cool, dynamic look. So as soon as you walk in and you open the front door, you walk into this really cozy area. Mm -hmm. So tell me what, what you've created here. So this is an extra space, which could be a bedroom because mm -hmm. the sofa, take the pillows off and it's a twin bed. Or if you don't want this space, you could make it a library or an office. It's kind of a cool extra space in the so at the moment, it's almost like a, like a den, almost like a mini family room separate from the main living room and more formal space that we see, of course, down the hallway, right? Exactly, yeah. Now again, because you are model merchandising for a future resident, mm -hmm. your demographic for this space, what of your imaginary resident, describe that person to me. Our imaginary residents here are under 30, mm -hmm. uh, maybe university students, maybe not, uh, but uh, very hip young, kids. hip yeah. kids or you know young couples. Um, that really want that Miami chic hip, right. hip look. Got the bike here for the younger person that can get on and ride around down Brickle. I gotta say, Deborah, when I first walked into the unit, I saw the bicycle and I was like, oh my gosh, that is a really cool art installation. Exactly, that's right. what we wanted to do. I did not know it's an actual functioning bike though. You can take it off and obviously riding down, around down Brickle, downtown elevator. Miami. Yeah. It's perfect. Well, let's talk about the wall behind me. So this is made to look like concrete. And so it's kind of industrial and it's for that young hip person. We want it to look like a concrete wall, mm -hmm. but we don't want it to be so rough uh, on the, you know, around the edges. Polished so concrete. We want a polished kind of very chic look. So right. that's where he came. And you were saying these are really sort of designer, de designer tricks, if you will, because it is a rental unit. So when that person, that resident does move out, you can easily just paint over this and you have a blank canvas once again. It's more cost effective to paint your design on the wall. That way when you leave, it's just paint over white and you're, you're out. You can't really you know, start putting actual concrete on the wall. So let's talk about the scale of furniture in this room because again, it has everything that you would need. However, it doesn't feel um, bulky in, in the space. We really didn't have the space or, or want to clutter the space with a big coffee table. So I think this, these are interchangeable. And if you, if you could, you could pick them up and put them in the living room. And right. you know, if you had like a party, 
And then we have a, a console that's acrylic and, and glass. So when you're walking in, you don't see a bulky piece of furniture there. I love the fact that this almost becomes a, a secondary bedroom if, if necessary for guests when they sleep over. However, being a one bedroom unit, the, the bedroom itself is absolutely spectacular. Yeah, we love really that bedroom. Yeah. So what was favorite. the first sort of uh, design inspiration to create that space? A bright color on the wall. Yeah, yeah it's a beautiful blue. And then the big silver seed pods on mm -hmm. the wall. Mm -hmm. and, um, that bed, that yeah. bed is very low. Uh, it's very more contemporary. Of a, the contemporary low Italian kind of look. So it gave us the, the height that we needed, so not to clutter the room, right. and also the view. A cool yeah. thing about that bedroom is that we, we didn't do the cookie cutter kind of bedroom, bed and dresser and nightstand. Mm -hmm. Those nightstands are drums and they're made of chagrin also, uh, the, that shark skin. Yeah, it's a very sleek design compared to the two bedroom, which was a, again more elegant, if you, more if you subtle, will, more yeah. sophisticated. This feels very urban, cool, exactly. but yet very comfortable and inviting at the same time. In this unit, we, uh, we put a bench in the closet. Um, it's a fur, it's gray fur and stainless steel, and it gives you a little extra oomph. Into it's a beautiful piece because it feels like you're walking into like a really special dressing room. Exactly. So it just elevates that style factor just with a piece of furniture, right? Mm -hmm. So of course here we have the ability to entertain in the space, um, but every unit in this building in the Panorama Tower does have its own built-in bar, yes, it like does. we saw with the other unit. Yes, so again, it lends itself to entertaining, having you know friends over, gatherings in a beautiful living room area with amazing views. So we're gonna see that space as soon as we come back. Next on SoFlo Home Project, this open concept design makes living large easy in this colossal tower. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. There's a misconception out there that if you rent for some reason or another, that home will never truly feel like it belongs to you. And I think through design, we are proving that wrong here at the Panorama Tower with your beautiful design work. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted to do with the residents here. Mm -hmm. We wanted them to feel that they could um, furnish the whole space and know that they could take it with them. We are now in the living room. And can I honestly say, this does not look any way smaller <laughs> than the two bedroom than the unit. Other one, yeah. Maria Elena and Deborah maximize the space in this room by creating a multifunctional layout. At the moment, I mean, three adults are sitting on here comfortably. However, there's still enough space for at least, you know, three more people. Definitely. So talk about, you know, a smaller apartment, but yet it, um, completely meets the needs of any guests that come over. Most it just feels so large of a space. Most people say that, especially because we have a sectional in, in the space. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm compromising on square footage in any way, shape or form. And then I also love the scale of this sectional because it's not big or bulky. It's just the right size and right fit for the space. It's perfect and comfortable. What, in, in, what makes it less bulky is because it's a very thin, it's not a deep uh, sectional, mm -hmm. so it makes it very streamlined. So we use the acrylic table, which is acrylic and glass, and it keeps it really open and airy. And we use this great um, updated Persian rug, which is very contemporary, but you know, it has a little character. It's beautiful. And, yeah. So let's discuss the dining room area. It's right between the kitchen and the living room, but yet it feels like its own little separate area. Uh, and I think that has a lot to do with the light fixture. Right, it has its own uh, chandelier over the dining table with a pendant lighting that's um, very updated and cool. And what's really neat too is it also has a uh, dining room buffet made out of uh, hide, which is a very... Um, but it's actually a dresser. It's actually a dresser, we're right? We're using wow. it in yeah. the dining room. Right. I was going to say, and I think uh, in design, it's great to have sort of those conversation pieces in every single room, almost like that statement piece. And in that dining room, aside from the chandelier, of course, um, I do love the use of that dresser. So how different was working on this project as a rental market compared to maybe uh, with a, a specific client? We had more creative freedom because we were able to do pretty much whatever we wanted. We did work with a developer, but he gave us creative freedom. And then it was a little more challenging because we had an imaginary group in mind. One group was the over 30 and the other group was the under 30. Mm -hmm. We started it with hard hats here before yeah, the that was a lot building of was finished. As designers, um, I think that's like the best, 
the best uh, moment is when you can see concrete to finish. The biggest compliment is people coming in saying, I want to do this look in my apartment. Can you do that for me? Yeah, so they'll come to us and they'll go, we want the entire thing. We want it to look exactly like this. That's a huge compliment. I can totally envision anyone loving these spaces as soon as you open the front door. Thank you. And that's the whole point behind model merchandising. Yes. As we've learned today on SoFlo Home Project. Yes, we have. <laughs> so, Deborah and Maria Elena, thank you so much for being on SoFlo Home Project today. Thank you for having thank us. You. It was a lot you of fun. You have really changed our perspective on what design can do in a rental unit. Thanks again for being on the show. We thank you for watching and we'll see you again next weekend right here on SoFlo Home Project. If you missed any part of this home tour or you're looking for more design inspiration, check out previous episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. There you can also submit your own design disaster that needs my help. You never know, soon I could be knocking on your front door. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, the tables are turned and I work with a very creative teenager who wants to surprise her younger brother with a complete room makeover.